Hi everyone, here is our math problem for today. We are given here this 3 by 4 by 5 right triangle and this green square that is inscribed in our triangle. We would like to find what is the area of the green square. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this problem involving similarities. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's begin by denoting the measure of angle A to be alpha and the measure of angle B to be beta. Since we have a right triangle ABC with angle C to be 90 degrees, then alpha and beta must be complementary. Their sum must be 90 degrees so that if we include this other 90 degree angle, the sum of the three interior angles of triangle ABC is 180 degrees. Next, let's focus our attention to triangle ADG. Here is the right angle. This is alpha. This remaining angle here, angle AGD, must be the complement of alpha. And what is the complement of alpha? That is beta. So the angle here must have a measure of beta. Notice now that you have here 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Alpha is equal to itself, and this beta is equal to this beta, which means that the bigger triangle ABC and the smaller pink right triangle AGD must be similar triangles by AAA similarities. And since these two triangles are similar triangles, then their ratios are proportional. If the ratio of the big triangle is 3 is to 4 is to 5, then the ratio of this pink triangle similar to the bigger triangle must also be 3 is to 4 is to 5. And when this is the ratio, it could also be written as 3x is to 4x is to 5x, where x is any positive constant. Let's consider this other right triangle. Again, this is a right angle here. This is beta. The angle here must be the complement of beta, and the complement of beta we already know to be alpha. So this is also alpha. By angle, angle, angle similarity also, we can show that triangle ABC and triangle FBE are also similar triangles. Next, let's denote the length of segment DE, which is the side of our green square to be X. And so all the sides of this square are all denoted as X. Then let's detach this right triangle so we can analyze this better. Here are the labels. Still ADG, ADG. The ratio of the sides of this triangle is in the form 3x is to 4x is to 5x, where the side opposite angle A is the smallest, the side opposite D is the hypotenuse, and the remaining side would be opposite angle G. And so we have this proportion, 3x is to 4x is to 5x. If you want this side to be only x, so that that is the same as the side of the square, we can divide this by 3 and do the same thing to all these sides. Divide by 3, divide by 3, divide by 3, and 3x over 3 is equal to x. Notice now that this x is the same as this, so we can now bring this triangle back here, which means that the length AD must be equal to 4x over 3. So we already know our expression for the length of side AT. Next, we want to find the expression for the length of side EB. In order to do that, let's detach triangle EBF. Again, this is the longest side, denoted as 5x. This is the shortest side, denoted as 3x. And the remaining side is 4x, so that the ratio is 3 is to 4 is to 5. In order to get this side with the length of x, we can divide this side of this detached triangle by 4 to get x, divide this by 4, and divide this also by 4. With this side equal to the length of this side, this is x and this is x, then if we bring this triangle back here, the length of side EB would now be the length of this side, which is denoted as 3x over 4. And from here, we know that the length of segment AB is 5 units. And that 5 units is the sum of segment AD, segment DE, and segment EB. AD is equal to 4x over 3, DE is equal to x, and EB is equal to 3x over 4. And so we can form this equation. This length 
plus this length plus this length, that's the left side of our equation, equals the entire length of side AB, which is 5 units. To simplify this, we can multiply both sides of this equation by the least common denominator of 12 and do the same thing at the right side. Distribute this, 12 divided by 3 equals 4, times 4x equals 16x, 12 times x is 12x, 12 divided by 4 is 3, times 3x is 9x, equals 5 times 12, 60. Let's continue our computation here. 16x plus 12x plus 9x is equal to 37x, and then copy 60. And so finally, divide by 37 to get x equals 60 over 37. So the length of the side of the green square is x equals 60 over 37. And so we cannot find the area. We just have to square x. And so squaring x, we get square of 60 equals 3,600. Square of 37 equals 1,369. Dividing this, we got a value of 2.63 square units. And so the area now of the green square is 2.63 square units. And that is now our final answer.